Hello and welcome back everyone, and for all of you are more Star Wars The Old Republic, here as Malcolm the Smuggler. About to do an interlude flashpoint here, trying to do Mandalorian Raiders, so let's see what it's all about first of all. Master Satio, come in. We've arrived at Carrick Station. Brief us on the situation. So few have answered my call, but time is not our ally. We must act quickly. A Mandalorian clan attacked and hijacked our warship Eleusis while it was undergoing refit at the Fondor shipyards. They're using the vessel to raid defenseless outer rim systems. How did the Mandalorians manage to capture a Republic warship? Where was the crew? Only a fraction of the crew was aboard. The shipyard security forces were taken by surprise and overwhelmed. The Mandalorians are inflicting heavy casualties and extorting tributes from the conquered worlds. They're demanding weapons, medical supplies, even food. But once their victims hand everything over, the Mandalorians jettison their plunder out the Eleusis' airlock. Exactly where would someone salvage all this loot? I ask purely for humanitarian reasons. The lost wealth of these worlds is not our concern right now. We must end these unprovoked attacks. The Raiders are a group of rogue Mandalorians from an especially militant clan called Varad. They've broken away from the Empire and Mandalore's leadership. Clan Varad is also attacking Imperial planets, and the Empire wants revenge. Fortunately, its fleet has been unable to destroy the Eleusis. If the Eleusis attacked Imperial worlds and survived, it must be quite a ship. Our engineers had just upgraded the vessel with advanced shields and weaponry when it was stolen. Republic spies just intercepted a coded transmission sent to the Imperial Grand Moff by a Sith Lord named Darth Malgus. The news isn't good. Mandalore scouts have tracked their rebellious brethren to the Tamarin Sector. An Imperial strike team is on its way to board Clan Varad's vessel. We will terminate the traitors, capture the Republic's warship, and add it to the Empire's arsenal. The Eleusis must not be captured by the Empire. We need its shield and weapons technology for our own defense. It's only one ship, and I assume we still have the technical readouts for those weapons and shields. It isn't that simple. The Republic's resources are at all-time lows. Our only hope is to board the Eleusis, defeat Clan Varad, and fly back to Coruscant before Darth Malgus' agents beat us to it. Dying wasn't on my agenda for today. The risk will be considerable. But I would never send you into certain death. I'm leading an attack fleet to your target's coordinates. Our ships will distract the Mandalorians so you can safely board the Eleusis. Your assault shuttle is waiting in the station docking bay. May the Force be with you. There we go. We need to board the Eleusis. Let's uh, select our mission. So we have Mandalorian Raiders and it is also part of the daily quest Emerging Conflicts 2. Mandalorian Raiders and Cad Mimu. I say we're going to set ourselves up uh, into Group Finder once again. The one thing uh, Jedi Master Satil did mention there, the Sith Empire is sending their own team and we will probably bump into them halfway through this flashpoint. But of course they are NPCs, not actually another group of playable characters, which would be interesting. So we're setting ourselves up just to be a damage dealer. Mandalorian Raiders. Let's join the queue. We'll give it 30 seconds, a minute. See if a flashpoint opens up. Well, a group finder pops soon. Probably not. Oh, we can actually equip this um, earpiece. Yeah, why not? We'll keep our cunning gear just in case we end up finding a a party member, a companion who can actually wear it. I think I might be able to store it in a stronghold as well and anyone from my legacy can pick up the equipment in the stronghold uh, cargo bays. I'm not 100% sure but I think that's how it works even with bonded equipment. I could be wrong though. I haven't really played around with strongholds. I only looked at it briefly when I started playing again back in January uh, this year. That looks like group finder isn't going to pop immediately. I'm kind of not surprised. That's fine now. I will break this video here and when we come back hopefully group finder will have popped and we can get ourselves away to the flashpoint. So I'll see you in just a moment. And welcomes back everyone. Group finder popped within about five minutes there. Which is nice. Hopefully our Jedi Sage, the healer, will 
ready up and we can get ourselves away. Oh, excellent, they did. Oh well. I have to apologise, you'll probably hear me cracking open a bottle of pop. Try not to make it too loud. I even took that away from my microphone. My microphone picks up a lot of things. It's hard to be subtle. Just adjust my seating position and we get ourselves onto the flashpoint. Been a while since I've been Mandalorian Raiders for the Republic at least. It's no different than when you do for the Sith Empire. But it'll be nice just to play as a DPS and not have to worry about healing or tanking or so much. Just trying to deal raw damage to people. Even though we could off heal. We're not very good at it, but we have some of the abilities available to us. I also have the ability to adjust my my discipline tree, like, without having to go to the NPC to do it. Oh. There we go. So there's the Elucius. And the Republic fleet's going to attract their attention. This is the chieftain of Clan Varan. Whoever you are, you've challenged the wrong ship. So let's have a look. We have a Jedi Shadow. We have a gunslinger, we have ourselves as a scoundrel, and of course we have... The Jedi Sage. Nice and easy. Because we resurrect this medical droid. Scavenging these. Oh, gotta be careful with our medical droid. In stealth, we'll still get their attention. Oh, the droid will at least. This is fairly easy. Willpower belt. There's a greed for it, so I might be able to sell it. Hi. 
No, I'm gonna get rid of my medical droid. I don't need it. Was a little bit crazy at the siege there. Got himself into a bit of trouble, almost died. Far so good. What is our healer actually up to? Uh, he seems to be keeping the tank alive, and that's about it. There you go. You're welcome. You're good. But you're not Mandalorians. The harder you hit us, the tougher we get. Yeah, I forgot. We meant to be using. Uh, no, we don't want to destroy it. We meant to be using this instead. Time to go. Wee! That's cool. I like that.
Oh, bloody hell. Sometimes... I might be an asshole's replying like that, but... Hunting, underworld trading. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bloody hell. Oh well, fine. So here we go flying. None of us got knocked off. Good. The Imperial fleet has joined the battle. This is gonna hurt. Yep. Yeah. Always take on the knight first and then the not the knight. The marauder. And the Inquisitor. <laughs> and whoever, really. I thought the chess piece was light armor, the Dark Delirium chess piece. Oh well. Um. I 
I'll need on the crafting materials I can pass on the headpiece. Hey, we got it as well. Nice. Ah, crystals. Oh well, never mind. Should just be able to stick past these. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Let's have a sip while I'm waiting for my teammates. And by sip, I mean gulp. I do like the scoundrel. I'm starting to enjoy him more and more. There you go. Nice and easy. Use the console to disable all the security locks on the launch control deck. In the airlock beyond the ray shield, you notice a crew of Mandalorian engineers and technicians. Wait a minute, is this a... Do you have a guy look like Skavik? He's got that gelled back hair. Do they pose no immediate threat? The engineers are nevertheless complicit in Clan Farad's hijacking. Ah. Uh... Oh. You activate the security locks on the airlock. Your little adventure is about to end. Oh, he looks a little bit like Skavik. Doesn't have the tattoo. Uh, I can't sleep all either. Uh, I don't think it works. Huh, it does work. Nice. Here's Mavericks for Rod himself, the war leader. Now, if you haven't done this before, you haven't seen this before, you've you got to but this ship belongs to Clan Varad. deal with his I'm friends. He's going to summon some turrets now. We need to deal with them first. Turrets don't seem to get stunned. Lag there. This is a good death. I'll see you in hell. Ah, take control. Done. Everyone's happy. I found 
a way to improve upon your specifications, Master. I trust you don't mind. Let's go report our success. And then we can call this video done and dusted. I like it when the flashpoints go smoothly. You know I'm quite easily frustrated when in like multiplayer games. So if things go badly, they go badly. And I let people know about it. Well, I let you know about it. I normally don't tell my party members. Unless something goes really wrong. But like you'll always check if I'm not playing the tank, you'll always see me checking who the tank is and what their like stances. Say they're playing a Jedi Knight or Jedi Shadow, they have stances for tanking, and if they're not in the in the correct stance, it'll be really annoying because that indicates to me that they're playing a DPS discipline tree rather than a tanking tree, and that means they're not ideal. So why are they playing a tank? Anyhow, rant over. Let's report to Satil Shan the success. Ulysses was returned safely to Coruscant, Master Satil. Clan Varad no longer poses a threat. Repairing the damage those Mandalorians inflicted will take time, but the Ulysses will now assist that process. The SAS intercepted another transmission from Darth Malgus to the Grand Moff. I thought you should see it. The Republic showed unanticipated initiative. Our inability to secure their warship for the Empire is regrettable, but the rebellious Mandalorians were punished. I am gathering intelligence on the Republic agents who destroyed Clan Varad. Such formidable opposition must be dealt with. Formidable opposition? He doesn't know the half of it. The Empire's days are numbered. I'm concerned for your safety, and what Magus's statement implies. Judging by his transmission, Darth Malgus is determined to make examples of you. Take extra precautions. Thank you for your service. You saved many lives today. May the Force be with you. And there we go. Excellent. Flashpoint complete. You know what? Wait a minute. What just happened? Oh, we lost our tier one of the light side. Whoopsie. I just realized I'm level 31 and I haven't even been to Tatooine yet. Normally, at this time, I'd be about level 27. It's because of this 12 times experience bonus. I'm not really complaining about it. But it just, it means that when we go to Tatooine, we're probably not going to get many of the bonus 12 times experiences that I would normally like to have. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't mess up our flash points too much. It shouldn't. We'll probably... Um, we just probably won't get too much of the bonus um, experience on Tatooine. Because we are so high level. It'll rebalance itself once we get to Alderaan. That just means we'll have an easy time on the next planet we visit. That's going to go back to the mission drop box. Cool, we had the. Whoa, wait. Is that the Fox Legacy? Nice. I know someone who would like to have the Fox Legacy in this game. Is this Diplomacy? Cybertech? Yeah, we'll turn in Emerging Conflicts too. And then we'll get ourselves back on board the... Star... or Starship, the XS Freight, I believe it's called. <laughs> That's a good, um, guild name. It's a game for fuck's sake. Nice. Getting a good amount of air basic commendations. We shouldn't really need them because I'm making my own level 50 and level 53 mods right now. I think I've just made all my level 50 blue quality mods and I'm working on level 53 blue quality mods right now. And hopefully then I'll be able to make my level 55 mods as well. The materials that make them are quite expensive though, but getting myself prepared 
What's our maximum? A thousand basic commendations. Okay. We'll find something to spend them on if we don't spend them on level 50 gear. Let's get on board. Let's choose our next mission. Dry run. It's not really giving us any hints why we're going there up until we speak to Risha. Let's leave the imp the Imperial fleet, let's leave the Republic fleet. I imagine the smugglers working for the Imperials as well. But yeah, we'll get ourselves parked back at the co at the cockpit of our freighter here, and then I'll break the video. Feel free to comment below if you so desire, as always, let me know what you think of the series. This series is probably going to end up being a lot longer, well I say a lot, it's going to be longer than Valakos because I'm trying to break the videos into smaller chunks, apart from these Flashpoint interludes, obviously. I'm trying to break them into like 20 minute, 30 minute videos, just so they're more watchable for those who just don't have a lot of time in their hands to sit down and watch a lot of YouTube. I understand that. I, on the other hand, on my days off or when I finish work, tend to sit down, find a series to watch, and just relax with it. I've been watching a lot of uh, Grimith's uh, channel of late. Even though I've watched quite a few of his series, I just like to sit back and re-watch them, I suppose. His uh, Lethal Feline's cooperative um, series are tend to be quite amusing. The byplay between them is quite good. Uh, anyhow, though, I will end this video before I ramble any more. This, of course, is Anforth for Star Wars The Old Republic. Just completed our interlude episode there where we complete the Flashpoint Mandalorian Raiders. We'll go to Tatooine next, see what our business transaction is there, see what we can do, and what we actually are going to gain from the business transaction on our way to locate Nocturne's fortune. I'll see you all in the next session. Uh, which I'll, pr I'll probably record tomorrow morning. I'll take a break now. I've actually got another game I'm going to look at and perhaps start recording some content of once I understand the basics of it, but I'll leave that as a secret for now. See you all next time. Bye-bye now.